Fran. Rita? In the flesh. How are your sisters doing, Rita? I'm sure you've heard Rhonda made it to Forge's Dirty 30 this year. And Reba, well, I think her jealousy got the better of her. I haven't heard from her since the magazine came out. She's probably cooling off somewhere. You know how she is. Such a drama queen. Ugh. Yeah. Yep to all that. Anyway, I'm not here to talk about the past. I'm here to talk about the future. Okay. And the future is the Franz Froger franchise. You want to turn my Froger shop into a franchise? Yes. The company I represent is willing to invest several trillion dollars to convert what was once your humble little shop into a galaxy-wide empire. And the cherry on top? A five billion dollar signing bonus. All for you. Five billion dollars? That's almost six billion dollars. Go ahead, take her for a spin. Make yourself a cup of Frogurt. We paid careful attention to your signature flavor profiles. You're gonna love it. See for yourself. Okay, let's see how you did with my chocolate dill pickle. How did you even get this picture? Corporate sanitized, franchised Franz Frogert all across the land. Wonderful. Where's my big hole? I don't know how to answer that. Ooh, corporate fat cats keep their loot in places like this. <clears throat> Salutations. Care for a duel and a thrilling trial of Boatlanders? Ah, crap. Okay, Tiny, let's go. Your jest is hollow. For I am not Tiny. Unless you're referring to my genitals, which I lost in a buzzsaw accident. Don't care. Let's go. Select your Boatlander. Maya. Maya versus Brick. Boatlander! Fight! This is gonna hurt! <laughs> critical hit! C -c -c critical Whoa! -ho. Ha! Boom! Critical hit! C -c -c critical I'm new to this. Either I'm really good, oh, or you suck. Both. Wait. Uh-huh. 
Good boy. Dude in a trunk with no junk. Well, I better collect all the dough in this place. I am Fran of Franz Froger's after all. Make it rain! <gasps> hey now. <gasps> Even better than cash. Hate these newfangled. I'm Foopy. It looks like you're trying to pour yogurt. Do you need a Foopin hand? No. Oops. Your Froger machine requires routine maintenance. Foop on over to the back room. Is everything broken here? Boop. The only thing broken is you! What? What? The maintenance door only boops to boopers with pure hearts. Even the tiniest fooplet knows the secret ingredient to Froger is feelings! To enter, you have to confide your deepest, sincere, foopy feelings. I do not use that mode anymore. <sighs> Looks like someone is repressing a traumatic memory. Would you like a foop in hand? No! That's a foop in shame. You know our policy. If you want to repair, you gotta share. I can share. You want me to share something personal? Something personal. Hmm. Something personal. I never got to pork our unpaid sexy intern. So sexy. So unpaid. You're avoiding your true feelings. That boops my fooping foop. Wait, hold on. I can do it. I... I... You can't just foop a suppressed memory from thin air. You have to be relaxed. Gently foop it from your mind. I'd like to foop you from my mind. Why don't you do some chores around your store? This place could use fooping up, and the activity is sure to give your memory a foop in the pants. <laughs> Alright! 
I'll freshen up. Fantastic! Please boop your food. <laughs> no, not a chance. Can't hurt to liven this place up with some tunes. Please poop a selection. Pump it up, Promethea. Uh, 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 uh. That's not what I fooped. That's not what I fooped! The sooner you sign off on the store, the sooner we can have you sign your contract. Wash my hands, huh? Thanks, Mother. Yeah, one of those fancy schmancy zen fountains. <gasps> Namaste. I don't know how you're doing this, but something's coming out. <sighs> All right. I'm ready to share. Whoopee! I'm on loops. We were on a trip for field day. A holiday where kids gather to go look at a field. I saw a group of bullies going to town on a poor, defenseless spider ant. And if there's one thing I hate, 
It's bullies. What did you do? What I always did. I got mad. Only this time, I wasn't just mad. This time, I was so angry, I activated my hover chair's mecha mode. In hindsight, it was a smidge of an overreaction. But once I had those bullies in my sight, the rage, it carried me inexorably towards a conclusion I didn't yet know to dread. Caught up in my anger, I launched my... It was a strong weapon. And I'm going to tell you what it is. A mecha rocket freeze punch! Ooh, me! Did they survive? Um, no, not at all. Neither did that poor spider ant. In fact, it sort of set off what I'd later call my big murder whoopsie. I hit those suckers so hard, they're flying through the air, already dead, and they hit a nearby sitting tank of field gas. What's field gas? Gas for the field. The better question is, what was it doing sitting there full that afternoon when the field should have been gassed up already? Anyways, these guys, Hit the tank, and it's a small explosion. More people died, and they weren't even bullies. I couldn't believe it. And that's when I saw the answer. It was so obvious, right in front of my face, surrounded by other possible options. Hey, water park! But instead of putting out the fire like it was supposed to do, it just made things worse. Water spreads fire when the original source is oil. Fuel gas being oil. I know that now. The buildings and train station and passing train around the field all went up. More lives lost. I was just trying to help. I would call this my somewhat bigger murder whoopsie. First the bullies, then the field gas explosion. Now I'd been betrayed by water? There was just so much destruction, so much death. I was trapped in a cyclone of emotions. But what I felt most, honestly, weirdly turned on. Anyway, that's how I learned at a young age a painful truth. I am a monster. My inability to control my anger resulted in unimaginable destruction and death. I vowed then and there never to use mecha mode again, but of course that vow wasn't enough to save me from the worst punishment Promethea can lay on a person. Compulsory anger management. Ooh. Now that's a foopin' feeling! That's the key to Fran's family-friendly feeling foopin' Froger's. You've shared. Now you can repair. This is no time to get existential. Pour that yogurt. Milking pump malfunction. Milking pump malfunction. No! Malfunction. What have they done to you? Please start milk pump or milk provider will be terminated. I gotta milk you with that machine. 
Remember to poop it with a smile. Unholy evils that dwell in this frogurt. Delicious, right? So, are you in or are you out? Take your time, about 10 seconds worth of it. I'll think it over. That's fine. If you'll follow me, we've set up a lounge, expressly for the overthinking of things. Speaking of overthinking, I gotta find Anu. Where the hell'd she get off to? I'm sure she'll catch up if you could just follow me. <laughs> nah. I'd be happy to provide you with a security escort. Nah. So, Franz Frogert. Was that all your idea? Whatever you say will be immortalized in your super successful Dirty 30 profile. None of it was me. Anu created the device, Fran figured out the healing properties. I'm basically a fraud who gets by purely on false confidence and swag. <laughs> 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 hey yo, this song is my jam. This party's a little dead. Totally dead. Why don't you and I head to the VVIP section? <laughs> There's a VVIP section? Here. the more successful you are, the weirdest stuff you're into. <laughs> no, Octavio, here in the VVIP section, you find refined recreations for the discerning entrepreneur. <sighs> Care to stick your face in the belcher? Courtesy from the angel investor. Only 11 people in the world have enjoyed mouth gas from the voucher. I'm not that into drugs. Especially from amphibians I don't recognize. St 
strange. And all this time I thought you were cool. I mean, you are cool, aren't you, Octavio? I don't know if the angel investor would deign to meet someone who isn't cool. <laughs> Bim! Bibbity Bipster! <laughs> I'm so cool that I'm above peer pressure. Why? Because I have no peers. My coolness is without equal. That's how cool I am. That's astronomically cool! Oh. Sheesh. I still wish Anu and Fran were here to see how cool I am. Everyone is wearing masks. Are you sure they aren't here already? Good point. Arnu, Fran, come try the Belcher. It's for VVIPs. did it! Full stabilization readings, a perfect fusion reaction. The congripulizer is fully functional. And the best part is, you did it without using the potassium-magnesium channels. Absolutely brilliant. You truly have a mind unlike any other. Simply put, you've changed science forever. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Dar, this is your discovery, your hard work. Would you like to do the honors and activate the congripulizer for its first trial run? It would be my honor. She's heading to the observation room. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cage. <laughs> Observation room. I believe there's been a mistake. This is actually a cage. I'm so sorry. We'll get right on that. You're not doing anything. You put me in a cage. Amazing. Dr. Dar figured it out. <laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Dr. Dar, thank you for your invaluable contributions. Where are you taking me? Bully! They're all bullies! Stop applauding! It's patronizing! <laughs> Woo! This party is hot! I should take my shirt off. Or we could go to the VVVIP room. The VVVIP room? Welcome to the VVVIP Elite Gold Status Lounge. Party, party, party! Party, party, party! <laughs> oh, that's some serious high-level CEO partying. Right? I feel myself recouping my energy. When do I get out of here? Oh, let our staff worry about that. <laughs> oh, sweet! Ark. <laughs> <sighs> Anu? Oh, yes. 
Right there. Put your data right there. Miss me? Not really. How did you follow me here? Inconsequential. I'm here now. It doesn't matter that you and your friends humiliated me in a sewer. It doesn't matter that I was fired for playing Fortlander. If you had any hope of freeing your little friend, you must first defeat me. I'd prefer not to. <laughs> Luckily, I did not. Now, battle! Cause God damn it, anyway. Come here. Select your role, Lander. Brick. Brick versus Moe. Vault Landers. Fight. This is gonna hurt. Vaultlander competitor in the galaxy, Brandy is! Eat it, you TD or trash! You can't have won. I was depending on this. I needed that W! Between you and me, pal, maybe it's time you got a new hobby. Maybe a new job with an employer that values you? Just food for thought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe I'll, uh, catch you later? I hope not. Wow. Louis, wake up! I gotta yuck your yum. I apologize in advance. board of sensations. It was true bliss. I think our children have got themselves into trouble. We better go find them. Our children? In this metaphor, would I be the daddy? Ah, uh, you are the daddy. I am the daddy, yes. What happened while I was diverted? Oh, 
I relived my suppressed life-defining trauma and then witnessed my own personal evil and all of its ugliness and terror. Oh, and I also milked a spider ant. To make yogurt. From your tone, I surmise this is not how yogurt is typically made. Look, the people here are bad. Very bad. We gotta go find our two dum-dums before they get themselves killed. Come on! Oh, hey! What's up? Octavio, you too! We've got to get out of here! We've got to think of something! Some way to break out! Party over here? Party over where? Party over here! Octavio, you're not partying! You're trapped! Trapped in the coolest party ever? Totally. Dumb! 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 So dumb! Okay, I admit I partied a little hard, but that's to be expected. I made Forge's super successful Dirty 30. Oh my god. Don't you get it? You didn't make that stupid list. It's just one more scam you fell for because reality won't enter your thick skull. That's why you're sitting in a cage. You never think things through, Octavio. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. I must have mistaken you for someone who also got trapped in a cage. Listen, I... There you idiots are. I leave you alone for 10 minutes, and you both get caught by TDR? <laughs> you don't have to freeze. You're not a threat. You two, drop your weapons! Loud and fast-like! I mean, soft and slow-like! You always mess that up. No, no. Please, don't undermine me in front of the targets. Hey, I'm a threat. I may be stuck here, but not for long. <sighs> Give me a minute. My entire body is a weapon. Then drop it! As you wish. No. Drop it anyway! Drop him! Exactly as easy as I expected it to be. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Aww, cute. Doesn't make a difference. You get over here and I'll put my fist through your. <laughs> the company that made your chair? I acquired it ages ago, and I can control it. Any way I please. And you can make the chair do fart noises. Hey, you want to talk to the guy in charge? I'm right here. <laughs> Here's how it is. Do as I say, or you, and obviously they, die. Now, the device, please. Oh, I won't be asking again, obviously. Make all the threats you want. You'll never... You have a gun. I have a gun. Now, device on the ground. Hands up. You mother I'll 
also be taking your Echo Decks. Never! What's next? You're gonna break Louie? Why would you even say that? No need. I think your robot friend will discover he left that little melding of the minds with some dirty data packets. Now that you mention it, some of the data I just exchanged was unscrupulous. It was all unprotected. They even used my back port. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I'm riddled with STDs. Software transmitted diseases. I need a moment to run diagnostics and swap my system. Really swap my system. Louis! This is your plan? Lock us in cages and hurt our feelings and give us diseases and uh, steal our invention and what? Mass produce it? That's not gonna work. We own the patent. <laughs> Okay. You can laugh, but our investor isn't going to be too happy about this. The mystery caller who jumped in to bail us out of sink or swim has our backs. We may not know who they are exactly, but they're somewhere around here. And anyone that could just drop a few billion on us out of the blue, quite obviously, has a lot of resources that should not be crossed. And I'm just now realizing it's you. It's you're, you're the angel investor. And there it is. Well, golly, sure would be nuts if I just bought myself a rich to hit translator and funded my own competition. <laughs> Yuck. Wait. That box is the angel investor? Wow. Here's what happens now. Anu, you're coming with me. Kill the others. Ah. Kill the himbo last. He means the most to her. Wait, wait, wait. If you lay a hand on them, I won't tell you anything about the shard. What makes you think I need you? Well, see my steak. <laughs> what makes a cow poke like you think a gunslinger like me's got any more use for you than a grizzly bear's got for a unicycle in a river rapid? Ugh, I thought we fixed this auto-translate. The UI team is gonna pay for this. See, you don't even understand your own Echo Dex. You don't have a chance with the Shard without me. If they die, I won't tell you a thing. You'll be stuck. Hmm. Actually, <laughs> never mind. No, I've just thought of a much better use for them. You've just earned yourselves front row seats to the hottest show in town. <laughs> Men, raise the curtain. It's showtime. Thrilled to see so many familiar faces here today. <laughs> Shut up! Wainwright, Reese, Torg, Karagawa Senior, Athena. Ah, oh, undoubtedly it was your communal sense of self-preservation that motivated you to be here this evening. Well, that and the fact that none of you would let the others get the competitive edge. But now, you ask yourselves, why am I here? And the answer is... A demonstration? <laughs> oh, I have gathered you together for a mercifully one-night-only opportunity. To merge with Tidior, or face your swift and utter annihilation. <laughs> See, since the beginning of civilization, uh, we have pioneered ways to hurt one another. From the stick to the stone, to the stick with a stone tied to the end of it, and onward throughout the ages, to the laser sploder, the rebel yell, and who can forget? The iconic face melter. Hmm? <laughs> Each one a rung on the ladder toward power, a ladder that we all race to climb. But thanks to the research efforts of Tidior, 
and a few very gracious volunteers. <laughs> Bring me the buffoon! That one. Ugh. Hey, good to see ya! How's it going? Got a new power suit? Hey, Reese. Hey, Honu, it's your old boss. Let's uh, network after this. Synergize, talk through some new invops. That's investment opportunities. Look, save you! Gotta tell you, not getting the best vibe from this being trapped on stage thing. You've been looking for me all over the city. Now you have me. Let them go and I'll... I'll tell you whatever you need. Hmm. Now earlier I might have taken you up on that offer, but now... Well, I have everything I need. <laughs> now you may be aware of what the less imaginative among you have been calling Green Iridium. You've also likely heard by now that my pursuit of it is the entire reason for my invasion of Atlas and this planet. That shard before you is a crystal of such extreme rarity that only a privileged few have ever viewed with their own eyes. Well, at least until Dr. Dar showcased it and its incredible healing properties to the entire planet while begging for money on sink or swim. Begging? Like, no. But what Dr. Dar did not know was that the shard that she and her team of imbeciles had acquired was in fact the missing half of a true human. A second shard? This seems, and stop me if I'm being pessimistic, but not great. They're a set? Did we know they came in a set? Are they worth more money in a set? <laughs> so much more. Hmm. And what the good doctor didn't show you, perhaps because she had no idea, was that the power of these shards can be wielded in more ways than one. Dangerous, yes? Don't worry, in line with her recent groundbreaking research with Iridium. Uh, work that the world's biggest idiot discarded. Um, despite how loud that mustache is, Reese, you, you, you're on mute. As I was saying, Dr. Dar harnessed this most magnificent healing power with a simple, classic ray gun. Oh, we have her device here. The Hippocratic something or other. Doesn't matter. We'll be changing it soon. Hmm. Hmm. Quaint, isn't it? Who'd have thought that the idiot CEO of Alice would overlook and cancel such a quaint little ray gun? It's made from found materials. It's not quaint. It's eco. Friendly, and in my opinion, that makes it really dope. Point taken. This dope device. This device harnesses, concentrates, and amplifies the shard's effects. Now, thanks to some experiments in our lab earlier, Dr. Dar helped us iterate on the idea a bit. Now, as I begin this demonstration, it is vital that you keep this fact at the front of your minds. TDR is in possession of the only two extant Anahadium shards in existence. Oh. Oh. I deny my esteemed competition the demonstration that I promised them? Meh. I don't think so. <laughs> As you are about to witness, the race to the top is over. I won! <laughs> now you have two choices. You can posture uselessly until I raise your company to the ground and strike your names from the history books, or B, accept defeat, merge your companies with TDR, keep your lives, and call me boss. Hmm? Go on, call me boss. <laughs> Go to hell! Scathing. Look at you! No! Who 
lose the bones? Suck it, Granny. Killed him, but he didn't give me what I wanted. Hmm. makes it simple to save a life. But the other makes killing on a massive scale. It's easy to breathe in. See, with this simple process of rinse and repeat, you can, in fact, do far more than simply kill. You can obliterate even the most defiant spirit. Now, who's the boss? You're... the boss. <laughs> and that is what I'm selling. God, forget about death. Death is so easy, so passe. I am marketing total, absolute submission. God, with these shards, I can take a city, a civilization, an entire planet, and bend it to its knees. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there, chief. What is this? The shards! We're free the shard! Criminals. Plunder. Holy... F f f f Kill them all or face permanent termination! Ah! 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 
Here's an experiment. Let's turn Dr. Dar's healing device into a harming device. Hmm? Put Dr. Dar in the lab, put her idiot brother in a cell as leverage. As for the others, incinerate them. Uh, do you mean that literally? Yeah, or, or is it like a poetic license? I do not care. That is the point, you incompetent buffoons. They are not worth my consideration. Just kill them. God. Thank you. 